Love it or hate it, Slayer is the most important skill for an Iron Man. Training your combat stats, unlocking milestone achievements, drops, and giving you almost limitless GP, Slayer will round out your account like no other. After recently completing the Gauntlet in less than 300 KC, I have one of three essential weapons for solo raiding, but we're missing a crucial one. With the Trident being locked behind 87 Slayer and me having level 31, I have a massive grind ahead of me. This was originally going to be three videos, but I've decided to make it into one long special and I sincerely hope you enjoy. To begin the Slayer grind we need to point boost about four to five hundred points so I've got some crappy tasks at Churiel to get through. We'll do our 10th, 50th and 100th task over at Kona. There is 32 Slayer, please clap and then we will crack on with the actual fun stuff. So I'll be back in probably, I don't know, a few days. <laughs> right, what is the first Kona task? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, okay, I, I, I need to cook. Leave this with me. Right, I've hopped on the iron because I've got this shortcut unlocked. I just want to see, because there's bronze dragons here, I want to see if there's a safe spot. Can I stand down here? If I can stand down here, and they don't, oh, they're going to dragon breath me, aren't they? Yeah, okay. It's a skip. Good morning. We have our Konar task, as you can see from the brimstone keep. We've got a, a very, very poggers. <laughs> Jesus. Ancient shard from one of these guys. It's down in the uh, giant's den over here. These are utterly pointless right now. I can't make a master stash to put the arc light in. And so they're kind of redundant, really. The insult heads are really nice, to be quite honest. So I've got the inventory set up to be doing this. And uh, yeah, get cracking. We just got a dark totem base. Not particularly exciting, but the inventory is getting rather cramped. So I'm going to show you the chores that I'm doing. We're stacking up various different herbs along the way. I've already got a few in the in the uh, the old looting bag down here. You can see them stacked up. Uh, the insult heads, we'll go and we'll go off and do them now. I'm going to stack up one totem, I think, to get some Scatizo CAs done because I want to get medium and hard for pest control points. And these rubies, bit of an interesting one. I need the curator's medallion to put the dig site pendant in the POH. And so every time I get some rubies and I need to go and bank, I'm going to come over to the player and house, grab myself a chisel, which is here. I'll cut it and then head off over to Varrock and hand it into the curator. And I'll go off to Forex Enclave and bag up all of these herbs. And then I'll also go off and do these assault heads and then go back to the task. One of the small upgrades I need to make to my account is player-owned house things. Uh, this Black Dragon's task, this is like 600 rare XP in the inventory. But if I had a gilded altar in my house, it would be about 2,000. I'm going to go ahead and make that. I've got a really basic altar over here and I'll just go ahead and upgrade it. I think it's limestone. It's crap. Even without the uh, the braziers on the side to light up the bones will give to 250 percent extra xp so it's always worth it for what little little tasks like this so i'll make the upgrade now and carry on i'd honestly completely forgotten about this but i just got a loop path of key and i highlighted them to make sure that i would definitely see it because i'm not <laughs> i don't have an amulet right now but i have the crafting level to be able to boost up for a glory it's 80 and so when i get a tooth half of keep I'll go and open this up, get a dragonstone, cut it, make a glory, and actually have a necklace. I went through a whole ordeal of LMS to get some points to buy looting bags to death pile to go run to Scorpia to unlock the Scorpia dancers track for this hard clue, only for the back-to-back -back step to be <laughs> the Chaos Temple, and I'm not going to do that. I can't be asked. So, carrying on. I'm having myself a little moment here. A little, little UIM moment. It bags my prayer pots. Bought a Lunar Staff. And then realised that, yep, yeah, I need to death bank because my prayer pots are inside my looting bag. Over here. And I need to go and AFK a task in the Cathcombs. So, using the last remaining herb patches that I had from the soap grind, I luckily had some Renars planted. And I'm just picking up some snake grass over here. I'm making pots. I'm about to bag a load of other stuff and go and put like Initia in the player and house and just loads of random shit to clear up space because this is just not fun. But we are done here. So I'll make this up. This is our 50th Konar task over at Dagonos. It's going to shit out seeds and I'm going to really regret not getting a seed box immediately. So maybe next. And now that my UAM moment is complete, <laughs> I've realised that... I don't even have a fire cape, so uh, I'm just going to undo all of that progress that I've just made. Put the initiate back in the house. I'm going to go bag up a load of this stuff, put some coins in the player owned house, unnote some prayer pots, buy some food from the Warriors Guild, and then go and do a fire cape. Hooray! So I'll be back in like two hours or so because I haven't got an amulet. I haven't got a ring. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll have a new cape. 
it's probably worth mentioning that I've got more Zuck KC in Old School RuneScape than I do uh, Jad KC. <laughs> I've done like nine fire capes and about 15 or 16 infernos, so I'm pretty comfortable at the content. So just whilst I'm going around doing this, I'm going to attempt some CAs. I'm going to attempt to not let the bats drain a prayer point, not let the meliers heal off me at all, and then we'll, I don't know, maybe try and do the old, uh, the old Jad Tiki as well if i've got like less than 81 hp then i can tick eat with the potato and we can just call it there and it should be a nice amount of points i only need like 20 odd yeah 27 points for medium cas and that would actually be really nice for pest control and warriors guild and a few other places so look at that ah we even got the bat the bat one that was huge actually that was really fucking annoying to be quite honest uh and that was very sketchy at the end i uh because i was chasing off to the bats i didn't want to like i was taking more damage because i wanted to kill the bats and so it ended up becoming really sketchy but there it is okay job done that is the end of the 50th task streak unlocking us the slayer helm so i can go ahead and buy that obviously i need 58 slayer we have 55 it's been quite a little grind to be honest because the gear is not the best we've still not had a tooth half of key we've got two more loops in here and a load of seeds i need to go and get a seed box again so uh, i might go in death bank and do that now to be quite honest because it's 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 becoming a bit of a joke i'm gonna go ahead and open up these brimstone keys because i'm just like committing an inventory space for no reason and i've had to like drop in sold heads and things to pick up seeds and other bits and bobs we've also got a clue scroll i need to get a diamond ring and you can't buy a diamond anywhere and so i'm probably gonna have to go to hand uh, storage chests but fingers crossed we can get some rubies from these that's really big i need palm seeds for a few diaries and torstals uh those are useless i think i think but the palm seeds are really nice because there's like two or three different ones i know the rd hard does right yeah palm tree in gnome village fine i'm pretty sure karam jihad as well ah okay turns out the wiki lists it and it is exactly three that you need it is i'll just pull up the page here for you we need to go to uh tree Dome village for the rd diary brimhaven for the karamja elite and letia for the western hard diary Oh, the western provinces hard diary so that is a phenomenal drop we got a totem middle so we've now got two untradeables in the inventory not a big fan of that you know what sod it we're gonna go do a uh, a seed box now and i might even get a herb sack while i'm at tithe farm frankly i'm not sure how much it costs but we'll just do it because it's a bit quicker now and we can do the top tier fruit with 74 farming so i will see you in a couple hours quick little pit stop to do the medium casket this is the first ever medium clue i'm intending on doing like a full video going for ranger boots so we'll fill up all the stashes and everything else and three now i've got nothing from medium clues but ranger boots oh god <laughs> Oh, that's abysmal right it's time to do yet another seed box this is my second time ever doing this as you can see from these seven points that i have this is post update it's now about 30 percent quicker to get the seed box or to get points and therefore buy the rewards from here so i'll 100 percent get the seed box because it's necessary if it's terrible i won't get the herb sack i'll do slayer points if it's okay if i don't mind doing it i'll just do like essentially the same grind again and buy the herb sack from here because i want to be able to stay at slayer tasks and then just note all of the herbs in one go and bag them up i am bagging as many herbs and as many seeds as possible because herb lore is a pretty big grind especially on a uim so it's a big priority for me i'm gonna go put a film on and do this for a little bit so i will see you later on right this should be 250 points we should get 35 off this putting us just over ah there we go and 76 farming yeah there it is okay ah honestly it wasn't terrible it was like three hours to get this so the herb sack would take me three hours but i'm not gonna stay I, I really don't want to stay and do that again i'll probably i might come back like tomorrow and do it maybe but for now we are finished i'm gonna go back and collect the rest of my stuff and continue on with some slayer good morning it is eight o'clock and i have a hellhound slayer task in the catacombs and i figured this would be a good opportunity to do some melee combat but I don't have a Dragon Defender. I would normally just go and grab this thing and like not even make a clip out of it. I don't make a clip out of a lot of stuff that happens on the account. Actually, I think I'm going to go do the medium CAs. I need 14 points 
And if I get that, then I can have, or is it 200% bonus tokens, as well as some increased points from pest control, which is really big for prayer XP when I want to go in AFK. So I'm going to go find some like bullshit tasks to go and do. I've done a few of them, like Hespori I went in the other, like yesterday. I went and killed uh, the like little sapling flower things, this one here. Within five seconds, I made some bronze knives. I've done a few little bits like that and not recorded it, but I need 14 more points. So I'm going to go find some little things to go and do, probably like barrows and mole and shit like that, and just grab a couple of extra points that I can. And then uh, we'll have the medium CAs done, some extra points over at the Warriors Guild, grab a dragon defender, do our task, and crack on. What is this? I haven't done barrows in over a year. What, what is this? I, I think I have to take it to this guy. He had a little chat with me before I went down. What What's the fucking point in this? Pardon? Pardon? <laughs> what the fuck? 20k prayer XP for doing a Barrows run. Bro, this game is fucked. What is this? Is that the map? Holy shit, what is going on? Jesus Christ. Right, I'm going to drain this prayer point and then go do another run with some run energy. Uh, questionable. No idea what the fuck that was called. Oh, of course, we got a Torag's plate body. Microphone was a million miles from my face. I'm pretty sure this is literally an elk. 168k. Yeah, that's just an elk, honestly. It's gone. Goodbye. I'm very, very fed up with barrows now. These are these are just like annoying tasks with my gear currently. So, a back to back. Oh my! Oh my fucking god! Oh my fucking god! That's unreal. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually unfucking real. <laughs> it's like, is it even remotely useful? Because I've got crystal. I don't think it is. Fuck. Uh, okay. Um, <laughs> I need to consult the UIM scientists on this one, but that's fucked. Uh, we have eight more points to go. I can go and get some from the giant mole, wherever he is down here. Probably some Casey tasks. I'll just scout him on the main. I've got Falador hard done, so I'll just do that over on there. Eh, do, 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 do. No damage. Okay, so that's five. If I do 25 KC, we can get five. Uh, that's like RNG, so maybe. Uh, yeah, okay, we'll finish this off a mole. Fine. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll go back this and ask a couple of people if it's even useful. I, I don't think it is. And then I will uh, do mole, complete the CAs, and carry on. I've put the carol's top, but now in inside the looting bag, I'm 99% sure it's a drop, but it's like midday, and people who would know the answer on online. Uh, this long. <laughs> Fucking out. That is just. That's not real. That's fucked. Okay, so I've got the iron here, two days of membership, XD, and I need the Falador shield, and then a spade. And we're good to go. So I will scout on this account to uh, give me the direction of mole, and then I'll just get it on the on the UIM over here. Oh, uh, okay. I accidentally got it. <laughs> There's the mediums done. That is actually really nice. So let's go collect our shit. I won't lie, mole is not fun without staminas, so I'm really glad that we pretty much spooned that to the medium. That's two. Cool. Right, this goes into Herblot, of course. 10k, almost to 71. And there is the hilt. From this, we can now get increased points from pest control and also more tokens at the Warriors Guild. So let me just sort out the inventory in the bag and everything else. And then we'll go ahead and crack on with uh, getting our Dragon Defender. Right, we're pretty far through this. I'm not going to make another clip down here because he really gives a shit. But uh, I've made a decision that when we clear out these totem pieces, we need one more totem top. And I've got a uh, Hellhounds task in the Catacombs now. So we could get that on this task. I'm going to grab myself the Herb Sack from Tithe Farm because yeah I need more inventory space realistically and it's already getting turbo cramped so I'll just crank through this and then do the task and then hopefully get the totem top do the scatizo kill hopefully the hard glue and then we'll go and grab our herb sack look at that beautiful tooth half of key on the floor oh god we actually hit 58 there we're almost 50, like halfway to 59 now so we do actually have the requirement to go and kill cave horrors but i've got like four quests to do and i just want to like save spot stuff and click things i can't be asked to go do quest bosses so yeah i suppose i'll go do them i've got like zoga flesh eaters rum deal and then cabin fever to do i think yeah cool right well that's our glory sorted we've got two more loop halves in the looting bag down here but that is the glory that will replace this amulet of strength happy days this is 
is genuinely one of my favorite milestones on any Iron Man. The Amulet of Glory. Hooray! <laughs> uh, we'll be using this pretty much all the way until a fury, and then we'll get like anguish and torch and everything else. But this is brilliant. Finishing off this milestone task, we've gotten 60 Slayer. When I have this, I'll get myself just over 400 Slayer points, at which point I'm going to go ahead and do Cabin Fever and all of the sub-requirements. need to do Rum Deals over Flesh Eaters and Pirate's Treasure. I don't know why I've not done Pirate's Treasure of all the quests. It's literally a free... To I've not done half of these, to be honest. Uh, but look at this task. Four Brimstone Keys and like 6k Prayer XP and Insold Heads. I'm in love. I love this task. It's great. I've just been chilling in a meeting at work, just safe spotting these guys. So, And here we are with the completion of Cabin in Viva. We can now kill cave horrors for that little black mask. Oh, we're like really close to a Slayer Helm. I'm going to put the armor seed that makes up this crystal helm inside the looting bag because I'm going to be using the Slayer Helm pretty much everywhere. So... Ooh, a hard task as well. I'll just have to go back to Corrupted Gauntlet at a later date and go ahead and get the shards again to recreate the uh, the Crystal Helm, which isn't really that much of a big deal. I'm pretty sure this is the safe spot. I think it is. I did this on my group Iron Man when I made it. At this exact spot, I was here for like three weeks. It was so long. I'm pretty sure it's this, this line down here. Anyway, I will be back in hopefully not too long and we'll have ourselves a black mask. <laughs> That was 72, Casey. Fuck off, man. <laughs> right, I am in the official uh, PvP arena queue. I, I'm a complete RuneScape boomer. I've got no idea how the, sh how the fuck that shit works. We should now be able to make a Slayer Helm. Hooray! And when I get the scroll of imbuing, I'll imbue it and we'll have this. I'm going to dismantle the crystal helm and put the armor seed into the looting bag. I've just put some extra stuff in here, some uh, spoils from Slayer so far. I'm going to be removing the two loop, loop half of keys, the carol's top and this eventually. But for now, we have the Slayer helm. Okay, here we are. Scroll, I've been viewing a massive shout out to Sodril and his many thousands of volts for helping me out with this. Yes, imbue the Slayer helm. And there it is. This is the first superior on the account. And honestly, with the luck we've had, the 275 gauntlet completion, the 72 KC black mask, everything else, I really wouldn't be surprised at a 1 KC imbued heart or something stupid like that. So <laughs> let's, let's try our luck. Please and thank you. Oh. Uh, that's quite rare. <laughs> One more key. What the fuck? Jesus. Okay, thanks. Uh, as much as I would love to keep this and have it as like a flex item when I go to chambers or something, it's like I, I just don't have the space to hold on to it. I've got some trash in here, admittedly, that I don't need to keep, but this is just like unnecessary. <laughs> it's going to go in the house. It probably never ever gonna come out because I, mean, I need the entire set to withdraw this out i need four more pieces in the house forever but that is a really cool little drop that bought 12 kc at the brimstone chest i've been stood here mining you can see from the report button for over three hours doing this sulfur i've got 12 open inventory spaces so this was pretty miserable to be quite honest but at 65, this is like the worst of the favor out of the way. We can go and do the quest for a 10% favor boost. And then uh, we can then go do the minecart system for the remaining 25. And all of this is pretty much free from then. And then we can crack on with the diary for Hosidius. Hosidius for Corrent. The reason I want to do this is because with the hard diary completion, and I'll have basically all of the architectural alliance stuff, all of the quests done uh, in about an hour or two, uh, we can change out the Shazian Helm 5 to a Slayer Helm, and I can start chasing off the Dragon Warhammer, and whilst I'm grinding Slayer and I'm sort of equipped to do Slayer, it makes sense to do that now, so I'm going to spend today getting that done, and I'll sell this back to here. There we go. And I'll crack on. So I will see you in a few hours with the diary completion. We'll put the lamps into Herblor. And then we'll crack on with some more Slayer. Many hours later, there is all of the favor done. This is just, it's just not good content. I don't know why this system exists. I need to go and do the 
armor over here in the combat ring to grab myself the protection required for lizard and shamans so i'm going to go ahead and do that put it in the house piss off the entire clan and then we'll go ahead and complete architectural alliance and then the rest of the diary we're actually pretty close now we've done all the quests and everything else we've just got a couple of small bits to do architectural alliance which is basically completed and then it's just an artifact and a few kills and bits and bobs so it won't be long and there we have it that is the medium but also the hard's completed i can go and collect my rewards now i can make my slayer hound work inside novelism and shaman tasks i get the ash sanctifier i get so much from doing this exact diary but i am eating my food right now so i'm gonna go ahead and do that Okay, we have two things to go and do. I need to go and speak to a captain down in the Lizardman Caves somewhere over here. Uh, this place here, Captain Cleave, and he will allow me to use my Slayer Helm on a Shaman's task, which is cool. Uh, we have a Rodder's Blessing, which is just fills a slot that I've not actually used at all. We have two XP lamps that are both going into Herblot, of course, and that is 22,500. We are 71 Herblot. Nice. And the final thing we'll be looking to do is pick up the Ash Sanctifier whenever it's relevant, and we'll charge it up to max and just basically destroy because I'm pretty sure it holds the charges. I will test that to make sure, but I'm pretty sure that we can basically put 10,000 death runes into it and then destroy it. And when we reclaim it, it has 10, 10k in it. If not, that's going to be really bad. But anyway, let's go and make sure that we can use our Slayer Helm, let's unlock some Shaman tasks and get back to Slayer. Over the last two days, I've been carrying these two totem pieces, hoping, praying to God, that I get a totem top. For those of you who don't know, you can't put untradeables inside of a looting bag, and so I've had to just carry these around. And this superior right now will give me the dark totem top. There it is. Oh, we can get a hard glue with it as well. Lovely. Right, that is the first full completed totem, of course. It has taken far too long to get it, and we can clear out two inventory spots. Oh, lovely. Right, it's a good time to go and try, the, try this hard glue. Do we do it? Do we do it? I've had to drop like 15 or 20 hard clues and I'm getting really fed up. Do we do it? Oh, I really want to just... I want to just beeline from Forex Enclave. Fuck it, we're doing it. If I die, by the way, we lose everything on death, including like the bow and the crystal. We don't keep a single thing. So this is massively risky and I'm going to teleport out instantly if I see any red text on the minimap whatsoever. Let's give it a shot. Was it even remotely worth it? Hmm? Was it? No. It's time to finally clear off this inventory slot. I'm going to attempt to do a really annoying combat achievement whilst I'm down here. And that is killing Skatizo when all of the totems are dead. Normally you would have to run around and basically kill them off whenever possible. But what I'm going to do is let them all come up, wait one full minute and then I will kill them all off very slowly, prayer flicking all the way through, and then they will never respawn, and we can just deal with Skatizo, claim our hard clue that will inevitably drop on step number three, and call it a day. Over the course of this Slayer grind, I've been accumulating loads of random crap in the looting bag and it's completely full. I've actually got two crystal keys completed now. I got a tooth half of key on that blood vial task that I've just been doing. And I've got some other stuff in here I want to get rid of, like the D-Simi taken out. I want to drop this Carol's leather top. I want to cut the diamonds and drop them. So I'm going to go ahead and death bank, clean this out. The crystal keys will give me a mounted glory in the house, which is absolutely massive and i'm also then going to make myself a skills necklace i think or a combat bracelet one of the two which is required for the ardone hard diary and it's kind of an, an annoying step to do so i'm gonna crack on with that and it basically means that whenever i get a shield left half randomly throughout one of my tasks i can complete the ardy hard diary have a lot of teleports over to the farm patch do my herb runs everything else so we finally got the boost and now we can make ourselves uh, honestly this is huge this is unbelievably huge being able to get to like Draenor Village and Edgeville without having to run for like 30 fucking seconds is like, it's a liberty that you take until you no longer have it. And now I can just go straight to here. Oh my goodness, my closest teleport before, which is on an item that I'm going to be dropping soon, was the Ring of the Element, which teleports you like here right? It's like there. So to get to like Port Sarim, for example, I would teleport to here, run all the way up through Draenor Village, and then back down to like the fishing shop here, right? 
Whereas now we can just go to here. Oh, lovely. And the final thing that clears out the second crystal key from the inventory is charging this necklace. Uh, but that is the only annoying task that I had left. Now all I need to do is use up the palm tree seeds I've got in the bag in near the gnome tree village. And the other annoying one is the dragon square shield. So I just need to go and get a shield left half and we're good to go, really. So that'll be a nice little upgrade for farm runs. Obviously, we've got the seed box and we are collecting up a lot of seeds to do farm runs with. So this is an upgrade that I want to get pretty soon. But for now, let's go back to Slayer. One of the most annoying grinds on UIM is herb lore. So I'm here. I'm going to grab myself the herb sack. I need just over 700 fruit and it's about 25 every five minutes. So I'll be here for like three hours or something. And then we'll grab the herb sack. We can put this single Renar weed that I collected whilst getting something else, and then we'll crack on with our Aberrant Spectres task. So I've got a couple of films loaded, a bag of snacks, and I'll see you in a couple hours. Three seconds for you, four hours for me. We're done. Ah, oh, thank god. This was like the last grind at Tython I really had to do. And here we are. Herb sack. Lovely. Job done. This will be this will help out massively with the herb lore grinding. So I'm going to go back to doing Slayer now. Having done the Karend Hard Diary, we have access to the Ash Sanctifier, which is charged with death runes, and I carry a stack of them around all the time. So I may as well carry around the Ash Sanctifier, make the tasks a little bit more bearable to do, because it just makes them more AFK, really. And then whenever we actually need the, uh, the death runes out of here, we can just uncharge it, and it's one more inventory space, we can just whack them straight back in afterwards and call it a day. Good morning. We have... 69 Slayer, which is the requirement for Monkey Madness 2, but also a full totem on this task. Every single task that I do, I pick up the Dark Totem base in the catacombs and then don't get anything else, just drop it because I don't want to commit the inventory space, but this one, we got everything. So I could do this afterwards. We can do Monkey Madness 2. Uh, I don't know if I want to just yet because the prayer level is looking pretty abysmal, but they drop ashes. It's a whole thing. I'll figure it out. And for this Katizo kill, we're doing exactly the same as before. We get all four of the uh, the altars up the eyes, and then we wait exactly one minute, and then we start killing them off, and they won't respawn. I'm going to camp Protect from Mage, because last time I took a hit off prayer, prayer flicking, and I failed the Take No Damage combat achievement, which is like a five free points. Wait, a free five points, even Jesus. Anyway... Let's grab ourselves a hard clue and a two Casey's Katizo pet so I can quit the game. Oh shit, if you take a, take damage from the reanimated demons, you fail the combat achievement. Right, uh, we're going to have to wait for like a stamina or something to do this then. I'll do it on task and piss around with it. Fine, let's just get a hard clue and then drop it on step number three. No such luck. Onyx Bowl Tips pretty nice for a little bit of cash. Uh, the Ancient Shards, we don't have an Arc Light, nor do we have the Stash Unit built outside. And so I can't actually store the Arc Light anywhere, nor have I gone to Shades of Morton. Have I done the quest? Yeah, we have. Uh, this Stash Unit here saves the Arc Light, and you need Ancient Shards to put into that. So we just drop the Ancient Shards. Can we do the clue? Outside of Riftiness, yes, we can. Right, let's go do this. Much like the totem pieces that I pick up and then drop whenever they become inconvenient, I'm also going to be doing the same with loop and teeth half of keys now. The Alvin Crystal chest has a 1 in 256 chance to drop a shield left half, and that is not particularly common. It's pretty ass, really. But the other rates are like 1 in 30k from a Slayer creature, stuff like that. And it's one of the most annoying drops to get on an iron. And if I can sort of shortcut that slightly or like improve my chances, then I may as well. So whilst I'm doing Slayer, I'll pick these up. When I get a full crystal key, assuming that I don't drop the halves, I'll go and do two gauntlet runs to get 10 shards, make an elven crystal key, and open up the elven crystal chest. There we go. And we'll, uh, yeah, hopefully roll it over on that come to think of it if i get a crystal key or a dragon stone off the rare drop table from a slayer creature i'm going to replace my ring of the elements with a ring of wealth which doubles the chances of me getting a shield left half from a slayer creature whilst i'm doing this grind i only actually use this for the earth altar teleport to get over to the dig site to go and do like bird house runs and go to the sawmill if i need to stuff like that but i'm about 17 rubies off getting the curator's medallion 
from the uh, Varrock Museum, which means I can just teleport straight to Fossil Island if I'm a player around house, which is great. That's, you know, sort of the, the best in slot replacement for this. So this ring is effectively redundant now. So I'm actually going to hold on to this, grab myself a tooth half of keep, dragonstone, ring of wealth, and then replace this. So we'll, uh, I'll bring it back whenever that happens. I don't, I don't know when it's going to happen. It's pretty rare, but yeah. Finally, after like <laughs> six more loops, we have a tooth half. So I'm going to go ahead and do a couple of gauntlets to make this into an enhanced key. I'll be back in a bit. It's never really fun trying to get a plus four, plus five boost with, <laughs> with stews and spices when you've got like 10 inventory spots, but that is the mounted dig site pendant. I can't tell you how much I've needed this in the house. Oh my God, being able to get here, do birdhouse runs, just this area of the map's really annoying to get to. We have replaced the Ring of the Elements with the Ring of the Well. And just for now, that is in the bag down here. But, oh, happy days. Make Barrage Slayer a little bit more accessible because right now it's a real pain in the ass having to go over to the pyramid to go and make, uh, to change my spellbook to Ancients and then go do my task and then go and change it back somehow. I want to make a Ancient Altar in my player own house. I have the construction level, but what I don't have is the Pharaoh's Scepter. So this morning, I've gone ahead and done a load of quests, finishing off with a Great Brain Robbery and with a Holy Symbol and this prayer book I can recite prayer and cure poison. I've done a little bit of Tamparos to get some noted food and I'm going to unnote it at the bank that after you get during the contact quest and I'm just going to do some pyramid plunder until I get the scepter. I'm going to bring my iron man over to make fires for me to cook the food on and then I'm going to treat myself to about any hours of this shit just so I can make doing slayer tasks slightly more easy. So I'll be back in god knows how long. you ever start doing something thinking there'll be a quick thing and then it turns out that five days later it's not uh, yeah me neither this is <laughs> genuinely like horrendous uh we've done 71 or 72 to almost 77 thieving getting 20k an hour right we've almost got an like a strength level in terms of the xp from the fucking sarcophagi that we're opening up I've been here for five days. <laughs> I just want the fucking scepter, man, please. Um, it's really bad because I can only, with my level, I can only actually loot the um, the room five and above, which has the best, like, the best rate twice. And most people who are doing this with like 91 thieving to have it have like eight. And so it's like four times quicker than what I'm doing currently. Um, I'm not actually going for the XP. I don't, want, I don't want to extend this out. And if I'd gone this dry and was also doing the rooms, I'll be doing this clip like two weeks in the future. So I'm just going to continue on like this, try and preserve as much food as possible. So I'm going to go back to Temporos and hopefully this doesn't take too much longer. Yes! Fuck you, game! Stupid fucking scepter dumb. I'm 80 thieving. <laughs> Come here. I'm 80 thieving. <laughs> <laughs> so much pain. Just while I'm running over to go and get the ancient icon to build this in the house, I thought I'd explain why I've been going for this and why it's taking me eight days. Eight days, hello? And why I didn't quit sooner? I recently had a look and saw that now with the slayer grinding that I've been doing that I can complete Monkey Madness too. I have all of the requirements for Monkey Madness too, which is really cool. Apart from the balloon route, but I mean, it's like five minutes. I then realized that if I got a Zenite, so if I went and did Black, a Black Demon's task now and got a Zenite, I am like 13 levels off the jewelry uh, enchant spell. And th the most logical way to get it up during this, like passively, would be to do Barrage Slayer. Uh, to do Barrage Slayer, I have to go to Alcarid. I then have to go to the ferry over there, run all the way through, buy a pass, 5GP, I have to carry money on me to do this. 5GP, why is that popped up? Go through the pass, up the pyramid, go in, and then change my spell book. And then changing it back is not as annoying, but it's still kind of annoying. So this whole, this entire process, if I'm going to get a dust devil's task, this entire process takes me like three to four minutes. So I mean, I've just spent eight days to save myself like two minutes of trouble granted but i'm gonna need this in the future the occult altar's massive but for now this is just perfect i am so happy i was fed up honestly i was getting to a point where i'd log in and i'd do like three runs for the run energy decrease to go down to zero and i just give up <laughs> so i'm finally finished ah uh, right let's grab this symbol there it is and then we're gonna go to the house go and boost up and build it and crack on right and this cup of tea should give me a plus two boost it does build the altar ancient altar Oh my goodness. There it is. 
All we need now, the very last piece of the puzzle, is a spirit tree planted over here. And we have the level directly for it, no boost required. So you can put that over there. Actually, we need to boost our farming up. Put that over here. And we can put the pool over in this spot over here whenever we finish off a slayer task barraging we can use the ardon kate uh, monastery teleport to spirit tree back to the house and then we can venerate our spell book over here change it back get a new task hooray and eight whole days later i can finally do my task hooray ah uh, this is really nice for the dust runes it saves one inventory spot in the uh sorry it saves one slot in the rune pouch because i can use dust runes so this task alongside the actual mage xp is really good for just general account management so cool oh uh, i knew this would happen Ah, <laughs> uh, that's just 200 shards but nice right well here he goes this is like so useless on a UIM. So there is 150 shards, and we will top this up nicely. This should uh, should basically fill it, fill it up. 56 into that, and we'll check them. 10k, perfect. Yes, yes, there it is. Oh, the ring of wealth has done work. We can go and do the RD hard diary. Hooray! And we are done with the Ardy Hard Diary. Hooray! Hooray! I like triple check to make sure I had the right anvil for this because <laughs> I've done it before. There it is. Antique lamp goes into Herblore, of course. 15k. And this is a plus one prayer upgrade. Also gives us loads more farm teleports. It gives us better like pickpocketing. It has so many perks. But anyway, back to my shaman's task. And we're going to out this live on camera. Goodbye. Are you mad? A fucking curved button. Really? This is not the same clip. This is like the end of the same day. That is two curved bones. <laughs> what? That's two curved bones from shamans in one fucking day. I've spent the last, I don't know, three hours or so. Let's just clear out the uh, very suspect clan chat there. <laughs> Trying to sort out getting a spirit seed. If I have this in the house, everything just becomes so much quicker and easier. It's unreal. I've been at Giant Mole, as you can see, 45 KZ now. I've cleared off all of the uh, the KC combat tasks. And from the bird's nest, the spirit seed was a one in 171, I think. And we got it pretty quickly. So happy with that. At least I can get a farming boost, a plus five farming boost to 83. I've got the construction level already so i'm going to catch with these raw karen wamji and then get my cat from the house get some brown spice get the boost and then put it in the playground house at which point oh my god this entire fucking grind to 87 slayer just speeds up so much it's it's unreal so i'm gonna crack on with that and i'll catch you in a bit Over the last five days, I've just been AFKing this account whilst doing the DT2 bosses, and it's been great fun. And with this blood vowed kill, this is 80 Slayer. Oh, I skipped the screen. Oh, that's Necreals, which is huge. It's huge for GP, for Slayer XP per hour, for Prayer XP. It's just a massive unlock. And it is the exact halfway milestone to 87. So I'm going to continue uh, playing DT2. This account's going to go down here. I'm going to carry on. Wow, that's a uh, that's a drop. It's like it's so useless. I don't think I can use this at all. But that's really cool. Nice. A few small milestones today. We are pretty close to 75 defense, which means like base 75. We are 12k prayer XP from 70, which is piety massive. I need to go and complete the Spirits of Elid to complete the Desert Medium Diary, which is 8k prayer XP. So we actually only need like four. We got 90 hit points earlier on and 82 Slayer this morning. With 80 to 83, we can kill spiritual mages for dragon boots, but I can't do it yet. 85, obviously the whip, and 87, we're going to get the trident. So let's grab our big, big point boost task, number 250. Brian Rat is actually okay. Don't even mind it. We've started off a stack of raw sharks in here. My intention is to go to minnows later on down the line. 
and so the raw shacks that you can get oh my god someone just got a ring <laughs> he's an iron man as well nord my intention is to go down to minnows to fish up loads of like food to cook up later on down the line so the raw sharks and brine rats pretty cool i'm just i'm gobsmacked oh you got you got the ring Ah, oh, right anyway let's go do that task shall we Oh wow, that's pretty cool. Uh, not sure how relevant it is because it's like a permanent inventory space. But it's from a normal one, which is like a 1 in 4k. Uh, I'm just going to leave it on the floor, I think. <laughs> I don't think it's relevant. Just while I let this dust battle staff despawn on the floor, it's probably worth mentioning I have had like quite a few log slots throughout this video, like various Tazar ones, just random things like granite long swords from Wyverns, just things like that that I've not included in the video because otherwise it would be like hours long. The whole reason I'm doing this video in this really compressed format is to basically just skip through these long, long grinds and get to the end of it for you. So I'm trying to cut all of the just random crap out, but I might do like a little highlight at the end of the video. I'm not really sure. I might just not, to be honest. <laughs> when I use this bone on this altar, this grind's primary objective has been completed. 70 prayer hooray we can now use piety look at that oh i can't believe i did the entirety of gauntlet without piety <laughs> anyway back to it uam bingo is in eight days and i need to get 87 slayer and a trident before it so i've got lots of work to do at the start of this video i had over 500 prayer pots and i'm down to just over 40. we have 413 renar weeds here cleaned from herb runs and 170 snake grass this obviously isn't quite enough but i have got some snake grass planted over in hosidius and whilst we're over in hosidius i can go over to the peninsula and go and pick up a load of it and then note it over at the vinery next to tithe farm so i'm gonna go quickly do a farm run and i'm gonna be picking up snake grass for maybe like 40 minutes or so go and make make up these stacks make sure that they're equal and then we're gonna make 400 prayer pots the really cool thing about this is when i finish that little grind to the 400 prayer pots i will have 72 herb lore and at 72 i could plus five boost and make staminas meaning that i can put the stamina pool in the player owned house which is the final player owned house upgrade for this video i've done way too many for one episode but yeah we really really need a stamp pool so I'm going to go ahead and just grab this snake grass over here. I have got more seeds to plant, but I don't want to carry around the seed box for this. So we'll just grab all these out and then we'll note them up, grab more from the peninsula and carry on. And here it comes. Uh, 72 herb lore. There it is. Hooray. Oh, we can actually make ranging pots. That's pretty nice. I've been stacking up any and all wines of Zami that I get from places like Necreals. I have got like a little secret, uh, like secret strategy to get wines of Zami later on down the line. But for now, we're just going to be stopping whenever we finish off these prayer pots. I'm going to bank the rest of the, or bag, not bank. <laughs> I'm going to bag the rest of my XP up for UIM bingo so I can actually, you know, sort of contribute to the team that way. And then we'll make the stamp all uh, just when I finish off these 150 left. Not much to go. Okay, first off is to build the base pool, the restoration pool. There it is, cool. We've got all of the supplies here to make the stamina pool. I'm also going to make the tier three pool, whatever it's called, the rejuvenation pool, which is basically just an altar on top of everything else because running to the altar is kind of annoying when I use this to go to my fairy ring. So I'm going to go over to my spice rack over here. And I think it's yellow. I'll have to double check. I'm pretty sure it's yellow, but I have like a load in here from uh, killing rats. So hopefully we can get a plus five from these. Go and buy some staminas. Uh, sorry, go and buy some stews over at the Warriors Guild. And then we'll try our luck. And if not, then I've got a cat. I'll go and catch some Karen Womji. Get some more spices and just keep going until I get this done. It's, yeah, I mean, <laughs> literally right now we are out of run energy just doing a few little bits. So this is, it just kind of illustrates how important it is. We got the boost. Plus five. Hooray. It only took like, I don't know, there you go, 30 minutes or so to get this entire thing done. Need a hammer and a saw. Go and click these over here and make the pool. And then I'm going to get a plus two construction boost. And actually, oh, I need to go and get a crystal saw. Right, I'll be right back. I need to go and get a crystal saw to get a plus three boost off that. Right, stage number two is, oh my god, I'm so happy to have this. Revitalization pool. Oh, I, I cannot describe how like game changing this is right let's go over here store the brown spice take out the orange orange let's just grab as many as we have oh my god we have a lot <laughs> maybe not that much okay three stews three attempts 
Actually, no, we only need a plus two, so we can have quite a few more attempts from the spice. I've got a, a negative three ranked. <laughs> Christ, <laughs> give me a sec. Actually, it didn't even matter because I needed the unnoted prayer pots anyway, so I'll just, uh, just pretend that never happened. Let's continue. Plus two, there it is. Upgrade. Rejuvenation pool. There it is. Oh, and now we can click this. And I've got a full run. Hooray! We got them. Look at look at them. The hide boots. Oh, put a pause in the chat. Oh, I'm not actually wearing any boots right now. These are like it's not great because it gives us like no God Wars protection at all. But either way, awesome. Oh my god. I'm just eating some food. That's a missed battle staff. Of a superior. That could have been something useful. <laughs> it could have been something good. Oh shit. Look at that hundred combat. That's really cool. That's the the what's it, like the expert boat, whatever the high boat is at, at pest control for like max points. That's sick. Nice. Pest control is gonna be really big for like prayer XP later on in the account, so the sooner we get that, the better. Wait, is that the fucking staff? Is that the staff that I just got really early? Oh my god, it is. That's so rare. That's so unbelievably rare. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. I just want to take a couple of couple of minutes just to talk about this item, right? It's such a cool, obscure weapon, right? Like, generally speaking, you can show this to people and they have no idea what it is. But it's completely useless. It's entirely useless, right? I'm on the Ancient Spellbook. I can't auto-cast Ancient Magics with it. I can auto-cast normal spells, but it's a two-hander, right? Yeah, like, I can't wield this on top. It's a two-handed mage weapon that only auto-casts normal spellbook. It's completely useless, but it's sick. Look at it. Oh, it's awesome. It's so cool, in fact, right? On Tans, my Iron Man, I have a flex tab where I have a bank standing outfit, which is the full evil chicken, and this is actual evil chicken. And as part of that, I have the Medj Tal because it's just awesome. Look at it, right? So the fact that I now have this on two accounts, and we'll just take a little look at the uh, the Tazar log here because it's just cool. I really like these tasks, right? This was my last item. I just, I, I, I have no words. This is just awesome i don't think it's storable anywhere which is really sad because i would love to keep this as a trophy like it's one of the very few trophy things i have on this account i would love to put this in the house but i don't think that i can and it only sells for five thousand tockle which is like four and a half k crafting xp and so i think it's just a drop it really hurts me to say that but i think it's just a drop but look at it let's just relish it for a sec okay say goodbye this will go on the floor now okay Goodbye, friend. And there it is. 85 Slayer. Ah, oh, we can grab ourselves a whip. We can stop using the goddamn ancient staff to do melee tasks. My melee stats suck because I just refuse to use this thing. So let's finish off this Necreal's task, grab ourselves a whip, and then do the final stretch down to 87. I found myself in a bit of a weird situation here. I don't have the magic level to... <laughs> I actually use these in Soul Abyssal Demon Heads, but they're 1300 prayer XP each. But I can go over here and just buy a Wizard Mind Bomb for like 2 GP. It'll give me a plus 3 boost over level 90, which is what I need, and I can just do all the rest of them. So we are one task down, 149 Abyssal Demons on the log. Are they down? No, they're up here. 155 in total, 149 for the task, and hopefully we can spoon this whip. <laughs> actually big that's actually really big oh i'm gonna go store that at the agility pyramid don't mind if i do i said to myself that i wouldn't do any more poh upgrades but we kind of got like mega mega spooned last night on a lism and shaman task and if i take a look in the looting bag we have six fangs left and so we can mount this talisman that got right at the end of my task i was like okay if i get the uh the 5k teeth i just I won't pick up the talismans and then I'll do a video where I do loads of PH and loads of prep and stuff, but no, nope, turns out we're just going to get spooned. I'm going to go over to the Chasm of Fire, get the last six teeth from the Lizardman down here, and then we'll mount the uh, Xerx talisman. And I've been waiting for this to go and do like construction and farm runs, so I'm really looking forward to it. So I'll be back with you shortly.
Yep. Three, three kills in. We got a Xerix Dallas mode again. <laughs> just ridiculous right let's go whack this in the house i cut a single mahogany log from a tree to make one plank and got a shard very cool and here we are oh i can't i can't tell you how nice like this teleport is look at that oh oh beautiful what the fuck is that <laughs> oh my god i was Feet on the ceiling levels of recline. I did not expect that to happen. Just a quick bashing on the head of this giant. Oh, we can get this out of the inventory. I've just got a 100 Lisbon Shaman task. I think we're about 2,500 KC now. Bloody hell. About 2.5k KC, 2.7, something like that. Uh, no hammer in sight, of course, because you definitely would have seen that. But let's just go ahead and grab this extra experience. We are almost 73 prayer. Joy XD. What do we get in? Big some Slayer XP. Right, cool. This grind has taken so long that UIM Bingo has now started. But when this cave slime dies, 87 Slayer. We can now kill Kraken. We can get ourselves a trident. And we can go and play the game. Hooray! Oh my god, it happened. <laughs> it fucking happened. We're like 1100 KC. Let me just kill this thing and I can I can show you. Hang on. Right, well, I didn't get the back-to-back. -back. I was half expecting to. Let's look at the log. We are 1114 KC. Not cool. I've done all of those on task. I've not done any off task at all. So I've just been like skipping and skipping. We've you know, This is beyond 87 Slayer, but like a third of the way through. And we've finally got the whip. So this will be with us until we get a fang. And then that would be the meta weapon of choice for the, the rest of my life, I guess. So, yeah, really, really happy with this. If you go back in the video, you'll see this timer here for the UIM bingo. Being yesterday morning when I got 87 Slayer. And it's taken me nearly two fucking days to get my first Cave Kraken task. Where are we? Cave Kraken zero. First ever task, day and a half. We are halfway through 87, 87 Slayer. God, what a joke. I need to go and figure out how to kill this. I think I'm going to use Blood Blitz and just take like food, maybe a prayer pot. I'm not entirely sure. I haven't done this without like, like full gear in years. So <laughs> I don't know why I'm running to the bank. What am I doing? Nah. Nah, that that's a fucking joke. <laughs> that's Hmm. That's not real. Uh that's fucked. Wow. Okay, well, thanks game. Very cool. There it is. The first task we get both. Look at that. We get both. Oh my god. We're done. <laughs> oh my goodness. I want to record a little segment here. So like there's no more progress now. So if you want to click off, then click off. But this is just like a review as to what we got in this video. I didn't include every single log slot or level or anything like that because the video would be like three hours long. But I wanted to go through all the different stuff that we got some of the collection log slots that are pretty cool and then just yeah the, the general progress like we've got 97 range which is nuts our highest melee combat stat is 81 defense because i was barrage slayering so much on defensive and we've got 91 mage as a result 94 hp crazy crazy high the melee stats will start to go up now that we've got a whip i went really dry for this like i, I got 85 and then i got 87 this morning I did like 1100 in like two levels, like a million XP. It's fucked up. It was really rough. It was really, really rough, honestly. But yeah, uh, 74 prayer, which unlocks us rigor when we do get it. And UAM bingo, as you can see from the little clan thing down here, is on. And I am going to chambers quite soon, like real time, real time. But it'll be next video. But yeah, 94 prayer for rigor. So we get a dex. Happy days. Uh, three more levels to augury and prayer is kind of free honestly it's just like afk best control it's fine we got a crafting level or two i think we had 76 at the start Any, anytime i did a tazar task i did them at the actual tazars and barrage them rather than a jad task 
and all the tockle with the Karamja Gloves 1 is like 1 to 1 crafting XP. So this is like 69,000 crafting XP from gems, which is pretty quick. The only downside is that to make it really kind of like not annoying to do, you have to death bank. So I didn't really want to have to can like continuously death bank to go and process tockle. And so I ended up just stacking it up from the drops. But let's take a little look through and we'll transition off that into the Tazar log, uh, wherever the hell it is. Are there? Uh, we got, <laughs> obviously you saw the clip earlier on, but I got the Tazar Medge. I actually got a second one. <laughs> These are the rarest thing and the, the most, like the easiest things to go drive for when you're doing this log. It was the last one I had on my Iron Man and this was like the fourth or fifth drop that I got overall. Absolutely nuts. I got the second one like half an hour after the first and was just all gobsmacked. We've got, you know, five log slots here. Pretty cool. All of these just got sold to the armor shop in Moral Wreck. Uh, let's take a look at the Slayer tab. Two Crawling Hands got one art during this entire thing. We got the Dust and the Mist Battle Staff, which was kind of unfortunate because it means we missed two rolls at Internal Gem of the uh, Imbued Heart. Obviously the Whip, 10 Granite Balls. <laughs> uh, pretty much all of these boots as well. Uh, obviously these two that we got from Kraken in one task and completed the video. We got the Dragon Harpoon from Worms, which is pretty cool. That is in the bag, it's here. Well, I am going to be dropping that after bingo because it's just not really worth keeping on a UIM. But it will speed up the Tempros tile that we've got slightly. Like it's, you know, a 5% DPS increase. DPS, is it a boss? Who knows? Uh, we got some Black Mystic. Obviously, the Mystic Dusk right at the start. That is locked in the player and house pretty much for the rest of the account. Uh, it's really unlikely that I get full Dusk just because of how rare it is. I've got like 1500 Brimstone keys on my Iron Man. And obviously, Slayer on a normal line is a lot easier. And we're four out of five, and I am turbo spooned on that. So this is really, this is like never coming out of the house, but that's fine. I'm cool with that. Pets, uh, we just have the one, the Abyssal Protector from doing Song of the Elves. Uh, anything interesting miscellaneous we did get some curved and long bones this is pretty cool we got this obviously right at the start now this is the <laughs> this is the interesting one so because these uh, totem pieces are untradeable they can't go inside the looting bag so I, I think it's full yeah so i can't i can't demonstrate it but you can't put untradeables inside of a looting bag and i've had that discussion with a few people like just whilst I've been playing the game why don't i just put you know stuff in the bag you can't put untradeables in so if you're building a totem you have to carry around the pieces and then if you get you know a catacombs task and then you get a lizard and shaman and then tazar and then you just go like outside the catacombs and do any other slayer task you're like lugging these these untradeables around with you so much and they get really annoying so quite often i would pick up the totem base and carry it finish the task get my next one and then just drop it at neve which is why we've got 49 bases and like 18 middles. And we've got 14 Skatizo KC, which is where these tops have come from. We got nothing from Skatizo. Kind of glad because I'm like 260 KC without the pet on my Iron Man. But <laughs> if I got it on this account really early, I, I would just be annoyed. Honestly, it would just infuriate me. I don't think we did any other bosses. We did a couple of Barrows runs. We got these. I can't remember when we got. It might have been a previous video. Honestly, I've been so addicted to playing this account. I've got no idea when anything happened. I've just been like smashing this shit out. <laughs> it's crazy. We did some medium clues and some easy clues actually up here. We got a few bits, just like random, you know, bronze and iron pieces. They're all in the house. I'll make up the sets when they get there. And the medium clues, nothing interesting. Obviously, if we got Ranger boots, you would have seen them. But just a couple of like odds and sods you know like a bota that will eventually go into a master stash somewhere uh that's about it hard clues we did like what yeah 28 hards throughout this um the only wilderness step that i would do would be the one that's just outside of corp cave if i can find it on the map for you it's like just it's right outside where calvarion on it calvarion is it's this one here the crossbow and there's like another one over here so i would just basically come run out of here with my iron man and scout to make sure there's no pks hopping at calvary on here and i just run out dig and then imme immediately teleport that was the only wilderness clue that i ever did because the rest i just can't be asked so we did 28 in total in what four million slayer xp it's pretty bad uh, we did get the Heraldic Shield, which is now inside the stash at the Agility Pyramid, and we need one more and then a stole to put into the Kasari Jungle. But apart from that, yeah, we've just, just got the one. Uh, Guthix Boots, these are kind of annoying. I haven't got the construction level to make the, uh, the box inside the house to put them in. 
so they're just like in the inventory in long term currently uh, but we did finish off the Xerx Talisman which kind of unlocks in my head Mahogany Homes because I can get to uh, Hosidius pretty easily now so that's quite cool so uh, boots we got some just random ship thieving bag blue dragon mask who cares uh, we did no elites obviously never did a master uh, from these we've completed like half of some of the books uh, a couple of the, the blessings these pages are stored inside the books and I don't think any of them are ever going to be useful to be honest but they'll be nice just for like god protection when we could when we do get to Goblos dungeon we've got a bandos stole or a war blessing sorry uh for bandos and that will just slot into here because obviously we've got no ammo with the uh, with the bofa and i will go over to bandos and do six zero with this in the inventory it'd be really kind of nice to get some zamorok boots or just some zami item i may end up going for a zamorok uh major in a two cape and putting that in the cape rack in the house and then just swapping it out here for the uh, protection god wars we'll, we'll see that's like long long term down the line uh yes yeah, some fire lighters who cares some these just get dropped off the account nobody gives a shit uh do we do any mini games i don't think so tithe farm uh yeah we got the herb and the and the seed box this herb sack i'm probably going to be dropping soon i can't just get it back it's pretty quick to get back it's like three and a half four hours um but it's not very useful if i'm not like gathering herbs away from a tall leprechaun but if i'm doing herb runs so we've got so many seeds in here that we've collected up and i have been farming the odd ones if i have like cadentine seeds cadentine seeds corn seeds stuff like that i would farm them um just, i would just like rd farm teleport here and if not i'll go to train or village and then just run across the farm patch over in falador um and plant them and but honestly most of them die because i've got no bloody uh, i've got no compost at all um but this herb sack, I think it's kind of useless now. I don't think it's useful at all, but I'll, I'll consult the UIM scientists and we'll figure it out. Who's this e-girl that's standing in front of me with her, what are these? Karamja Gloves 3, brilliant. Uh, seed box, yeah, we've got a few bits and bobs. We farmed all the snake grass to make up a secondary stack of prayer pots, which we did just about managed to get through i made an extra like 300 on top of the 30 i had left 30 or 40 and uh, yeah we've got 159 which will get us through like a couple of like raids and stuff like that we'll see um, but i have got some renar weeds in here somewhere uh 49 there and then we've got 21 in the uh herb sack and then we've got 10 seeds i think it was was it 10 10 seeds i can get back to master farmers whenever i want these aren't a problem at all it'll just a couple of days and i'll restock the entire account uh, but i will crack on with these farm runs at some point i'm going to keep them inside of here uh, snapdragon renar and toad flax are the ones from tier 8 and so these will be basically like permanent slots inside of here for now but the herb sack now that i'm talking about it i'm going to drop it quite soon uh tockle will be spoken about that uh, antidotes not sure why i'm keeping them i'm going to zora soon like tomorrow morning um and just bowfering so i might end up saving a stack of these because we've got so much like xp stacked inside of here like a thousand myth bars just from gargoyles we've got 2100 steel bars from gargoyles and the brimstone chest uh raw sharks which i will get from minnows but these came from brine rats basically <laughs> uh this runor i'm going to be selling to the tazar shop it's about a thousand uh tockle per ore which is like 58k crafting xp essentially uh, i'm going to be cutting all of these gems as well for crafting xp during bingo and smithing the gold ore dropping that and making up and dropping a load of pots so we'll clean up this entire thing wines of zami not really sure how i'm going to get those i think i'm going to go to the tithe farm and do a little vinery episode maybe Ooh, a little treat myself episode um yeah new logs uh these are uh, I'm probably just gonna drop them they're from mole i did like a few mole kills to get a spirit tree seed uh to put in the player owned house which was like monumental i'll show you now right so if i teleport to the monastery and i always have this cape on me i can run over here and just teleport straight to my house and change battle book the, the only other way was to like teleport to here run to the fairy ring over to cis change to rcs and then unchange and then like player owned house teleport like that so it took me like four hours or something to actually set up and then get this tree in the house but it was so worth it it made this entire grind so much better yeah i think that just about covers it to be honest we've we've you know 72 herb lore which made us the uh, the rejuvenation pool um so we can restore our stamina that was monumental as well just for like cheery or skipping or cheery or boosting of tasks like just having this here and then just going straight there to birth rope and going over to cheery huge like quality of life 
Uh, obviously, we got the fire cape at some point. I think it was during this episode. We got the fire cape, uh, which is just stored here. And a uh, little spoiler, if you're still watching me ramble my way through this entire clip, I will be going for an infernal cape soon. And I mean very, very soon. Basically, I want rigor and I want... Uh, is it 81 for bruise? I think it's 81. I haven't... Maybe 80? 81? 81 for bruise. So I'll get 77 so that I can pie boost and I'll just make like four pies and then just shit loads of bruise. And I can make restores already. I've already got some in the bag. And I've got like snapdragons in here somewhere. I've got snapdragon seeds. I've got loads of them for some reason. 43 snapdragon seeds from what? Um, yeah, and then I'll be sending the inferno. And I'll just, I'll, I'll like, <laughs> I'm kind of hoping that I'll one and done it. Because I just want to get out of the way so I can like crack on with raiding and do loads of like really fun PVM with like limited inventory space. But that does just about wrap it up. Thank you very much for listening to me ramble towards the end of this. If you're still watching, then what are you doing with your life? <laughs> I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Goodbye.